to the channel, Al Thomas here. <laughs> hey, I'm out in the country. I just want to share with you some stories. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, how did I get started? What makes my difference? What's my story? Well, here's my story. You know, about 30 plus years ago, uh, a gentleman, my, my mentors, kind of gave me, uh, sat me down and said, son, what did your mom and dad talk about? You had breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I said, well, a couple of things. First of all, they took me to school, get a good education, find a good job. And my mentor, the billionaire, laughed. <laughs> he says, young man, you're a trainer for rich people like myself or some Fortune 500. You would never train again. And I said, wow, that's amazing. He goes, you want to see your future? I got excited. Yeah. He goes, look at your parents. That's where you'll be in 10, 15 years. And he was trying to be disrespectful. He was just sharing with the reality of what I've been trained in, which is important for me, and not become an entrepreneur. Today, we've got our own plan. I'm in a different country, with my other houses in a different country that I own, paid for. And uh, I, I listened to him. I really did. And he said, you know what? You're quite tied up, man. So he gave me around in his jet. Yeah, his jet before I bought my first jet. And we landed. Uh, and he said, you know what? You're worth my time. He gave me a journal and a pen. He said, young man, take these two notes down. It'll change your life forever. And I said to my my bigoter mentor, yes, sir. He said, the first rule of wealth is wealthy people have to leverage. Write that word, leverage. He said, let me describe leverage. He said, how many Starbucks in your town? Matter of fact, how many Starbucks in your town? One or zillions? I said, zillions. Well, oh, that's right. He said, how would you like to get a quarter of every cup of coffee sold today at all those Starbucks? I said, wow, that's a lot of money. He goes, absolutely. He goes, not only that, but McDonald does it, Burger King does it, CBS does it, Walking does it, but you don't do it. In other words, if you don't want to work tomorrow, Monday through Friday, you don't make any money. He said, son, that's not smart, it's goofy. I mean, real goofy. And I'm just saying what he told me, real goofy. I said, wow, that's amazing. Said, that's really amazing. I said, God, I need leverage in my life. That's right. He goes, next one. What do you know what the work residual income means? And I was young, full of myself. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. He goes, what is it? I said, it's a ring around the bathtub. <laughs> he goes, no, son, that's called residue. Residue. <laughs> yeah, I was full of myself. Yeah, it sure was. Cocky, too. He goes, no, son, that's called residue. He said, let me describe residual income to you. Uh, he says, so you do one time, you can pay over and over and over again. He says, think about your favorite music artist. How many times you go to the studio and come to the song? Ooh, one time. That's right, one time. And anytime that song plays anywhere in the world, that artist can pay the royalty. I said, wow. He said, son, they're not that bright. You see them on MTV. Some of them are so goofy, they carry their name around their neck. Right there, Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. But why does Bobo live in a $5 million mansion, 20 cars in a driveway, and millions in the bank? Bobo's not smart. Bobo just tapped into residual based income and my mentor said this to me he says young man you find some that's leverage and residuals jump in with both feet don't hire broke people let them be right and be rich and guess what i is <laughs> bad english i know but the power of leverage and residuals is what you're after especially in the 21st century have you noticed things have changed and some of us are trying to live back to the old days of what we used to be back in the dinosaur age where information was important now it's an AI, AI. You know, before that was industrial age. Before that was horse and buggy. So are you retooling yourself with what's going on today? So when my mentor gave me that, it made a lot of sense. So I remember this. He always said to me, if it doesn't have leverage residuals, he told me, don't do it unless you invest into it. I said, hey, he said, don't do it unless you invest into it. So the beautiful thing is my whole life, the last 30 years, like Bill Gates, I've been getting paid every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, three more left. Decade after decade after decade. Yeah. And I'm nobody smart. I'm a guy that got off my rear end and decided to make a change in my life and follow what my mentors gave me.